That was actually not that bad of a night. Every it, a bunch of hookers came out. Everybody was on time and in their places, and everything fell. We were we were actually a little bit behind schedule, but that's actually early and ahead of schedule compared to most of the times. So, so um, pretty much what you guys are gonna do is be outside, um, just doing what you do, but don't be in character until we get the car pulling up because we don't want to pull up the cop lights. So. Um, be in character, just walking around when you see the car pull up, and he's gonna get out and eat you. Just sort of, um, yeah, try to get him uh, to, to go with you to your room because you've got money in his pocket. And you can tell. Okay, yeah, we're we're pretty much done outside for the most part. We just got one more thing to do on the outside, and we're all through. But we're. We're narrowing down the amount of people that are going to be here. We'll be out of your hair in about two hours, and we Tell appreciate the you once again. Let's use your place. You worked your magic with the motel clerk. You, uh, I was shooting the scene with, um, I was shooting some scene, and you were in there talking to the motel clerk, and uh, I don't know, how the hell you did it, man? I would introduce them to M. Night Shyamalan because they were an Indian family. Just the fact that people actually go there and take their clothes off and lay on actual sheets and the smell. That motel was the rankest, nastiest place I've ever seen in my life. It's I was I was scared to touch anything. Sort of like look back there, like like real dramatic looking, like you know what just happened there, and that when he asked you, that reminded you what just happened there. The motel was scary. It was so nasty, and I think it. It was good though, because all of us were kind of scared to touch anything, and it was better than it just being a fake set, um, because it was so real and raw, and that's that's what that scene was all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of the worst hotels I've ever seen in my imagination or in real life. There were real cockroaches. There was real debauchery going on around us. It was a spooky environment. So that in and of itself gave you an edge, I think. I think it gave myself an edge and the rest of the performers too. We were kind of edgy anyway because of the environment that we were in. But I'm just walking around. Yeah. 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 Up against the wall, you're just being just as you are. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be there. Damn, I can't lean up against the wall. Yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody in the cast was together for the first time um, since the audition. Okay, let's do their scene first. Uh, Uh, it doesn't hurt, I promise. Yeah, face, all right, let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had some like funky junk uh, eye gook going on um, because I think there was like seriously parasites in there. <laughs> yeah, she got a ton of royalties after the fact. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Take her bus load of horrors down the street. <laughs> that was crazy. With the prostitutes and stuff, I was, I almost, I mean, knowing they're actresses, you know, they're just, you know, part of the crew, I was like freaked out because they were all up on me and I was like, oh, okay, um. <laughs> They were, they were hardcore. <laughs> I think one of them grabbed me. <laughs> there. <laughs> I was like, hey, there's a limit. Oh, 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 oh. It was very, you know, crazy and hectic at one minute and then really like, depressing the next minute. It was nuts. I did not think we were going to get to shoot in that office. That I never in a million years thought that was going to happen. And 
because the family was actually there. And it, what's funny is the, the dad, or I guess the owner of, of the motel, was coaching Jason on how to be a motel clerk. Like, you know, are you not going to ask for a receipt? Well, I was just... Uh, oh, well, let's just start uh, from the coming out. Hey, did that open a little bit. What's going on? I have a little experience. It's like slacker, if you will. Uh, now this is going out of my experience uh, in the realm of, uh, figured you'd be kind of a pot smoking uh, and I have no experience whatsoever in anything. Why are you bringing yeah. in But uh, yeah, that's basically a little uh, inspiration, if you will. Just like a pot smoker, irritated, kind of not going anywhere and like, you know, uh, not really wanting to be there. Couldn't really give a, uh, an F. Yeah, but I changed it a little bit. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that one. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. I don't have one thing on. No, we can't do this. That's what an ecstasy overdose does to your body. It boils you from the inside out. We need, this isn't really our lines, but we need to get them in cold water. We need our. Oh, we need it. Oh, I see. Okay, uh. You'll be walking up for another day. I'm going right now. Tell them what, Judas. They'll take us all to jail. It was strange because um, I don't know, just 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 having to walk into this cramped motel room and there's like six people in there on top of the main characters that I don't know, all, all crammed in the corner while we're filming, and we had to sit there and, and and all of us and like cry for like five minutes straight. And you just got all these strangers sitting in the corner here. Who, I didn't know who they were at the time. You know, just sitting there uh, watching. It was kind of an awkward situation, but uh, uh, that, that was the, the start of it. Uh, the look back and yeah, uh, head was, sort of yeah. um, regretful at the same time that you've been caught. That was really good. All right, we'll do the same thing again. Um, we'll be looking uh, we'll be looking this way this time. Just to kind of scurry away. And as soon as he gets out, you're standing there and he's What's going on there? Just a couple of uh, now the actual scene where uh, 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 where Zach's character comes in the room and things really come to a head, that was very intense. And uh, we probably shot that like four or five times. And uh, uh, the very last take, I remember we we just went all out, and uh, yeah, it was it was extremely intense. I mean, you could just feel the the energy in the room between people was crazy. Now what? Runs picks up the phone, and this we'll cut it right there because that is gonna have to be some. Um, but have, having that scene shot in that room with all the characters converging at that moment, that was very exciting as well. And um, a, a lot, a lot of the shock and a lot of the, a lot of the energy that was being circulated in that room, I think, was very real. Uh, it was it was fun. It was fun. It was also kind of exciting and kind of scary at the same time. So, All right. so the way I would carry this, somebody bro. Man, and obviously I've, I've, I've got this I'm with me. I mean, you have it out. Yeah, you may have but, but I mean, oh, well, because man. the way I see the whole scene wrapping up inside mm -hmm. is you take the knife away from a drone and you just. We had, I mean, just the very exciting elements of that night, having somebody run around downtown in their in their underwear in a hospital gown and screaming drug names on the side of the street a block from the mayor's office downtown at 2 o'clock in the morning. Coke! LSD! I got it all! And it's 30 degrees outside and having screeching cars come around, I mean, for that night, we owned the city. We had a set. Filming downtown, I always wanted to shoot downtown or late at night, and because uh, it's like you own it. There's nobody else there, and um, yeah, too. I got you need here. Tony Enterprise is having a goddamn blowout sale. That's perfect the way you say that. It was after midnight. It was till like three in the morning, and it was freezing. Hey, start the scene off yeah. looking that way, like yeah, you just got done looking at him, and then go back to rambling, and then he's gonna cut you off. God, it was so cold. It was so cold outside. We were out there for what seemed like forever, and everyone was just kind of tired and hungry, but it was still really exciting. I don't. I've never done anything else. This was my first. <laughs> it's 2:55. It's freezing, so it's like they and it's cold. Is that it? We're no closer to getting done than we were an hour ago. We ate Denny's at four in the morning. 
we had a good time at Denny's. David Wallace drank two shots of uh, syrup with salt. We just missed David knocking back two shots of syrup, one, one which was filled with an inch with of salt. salt. Hey. You can oh, okay. still see some on <laughs> the, the glass. Sunshine, the rays of sunshine. What a yeah. sick fuck.